Vamos então dar início ao segundo painel, que tem como tema Educação de Investidores. Convidamos como moderador o senhor Pablo Mercante, superintendente de assuntos internacionais da CVM da Argentina, CNV. E para compor a mesa... E para compor a mesa, convidamos a senhora Lori Schock, diretora da CVM americana SEC. Também a senhora Glória Cabaleiro Nunes, vice-diretora de educação financeira da CVM espanhola, CNMV. Senhora Tuti Suetiono, membro do colegiado da CVM da Indonésia, ou JK. Senhor Camille Bedon, diretor de educação financeira da CVM canadense, AMF. E senhor Pasquale Monafo, profissional sênior de finanças da CVM italiana, CONSOB. E com a palavra o moderador, senhor Pablo Mercante. Bom dia a todos. Bem-vindos a Panel 2 das Ciências Comportamentais, da Conferência em Ciências Comportamentais. Educação dos investidores eh, aqui no Rio de Janeiro. Antes de mais nada, eu gostaria de agradecer a Comissão de Valores Mobiliários do Brasil, em particular ao Vasco, pelo convite para moderar hoje esse panel. Um, peço desculpas, mas agora eu vou continuar a falar em inglês, não somente porque o meu oportunidade é muito ruim, mas além disso, porque a maioria dos palestrantes vão falar nessa língua. So I switch to English now. Welcome again. Um, without further delay, I would like to pass the word to Ms. Lori Schock, Director of the Office of Investor Education and Advocacy of the United States and Securities and Exchange Commission. After the, the speeches, you will have the opportunity to make your questions. There will be a Q&A session after all the, all the, the speeches, so please feel free to, to send your questions to me. Thank you very much. Good morning, and thank you for the opportunity to be here today. Um, my colleague has been here for the past couple of years, and so I appreciate the opportunity to be here today. I would like to talk to you a little bit about our public service campaign. If you don't mind, can we get my slides up? So let me tell you a little bit about what we've been doing in the United States. How about that? Um, so for the first time, in the history of the United States SEC, Securities and Exchange Commission, when, and we're 83 years old, by the way, and I appreciate the 40th anniversary here of uh, CVM, uh, but we're a little bit older, <clears throat> been around a little bit longer, but it's the first time that we've done a public service campaign. And the first time that we did this, our first opportunity was to try to um, protect people from fraud, okay? So we wanted folks to work with a registered person because we find that most of our enforcement cases that are retail facing um, deal with folks that are not working with a registered uh, person or licensed products. And so we knew that uh, the companies wouldn't be doing an anti-fraud campaign, but we won't. Thank you, I appreciate that. So let me tell you a little bit about our um, campaign so far. So we started this in February of this year. It was a pilot program. And so far, so <clears throat> for us, this was a big over, uh, it was a big undertaking actually. It was um, an issue to change things, one, to mobile devices, because we know that most people are not using computers any longer, but they're using tablets or they're using smartphones. And so to change this to uh, a mobile device and our key behavior was doing this background check. So investor.gov is our main uh, investor education tool in the United States. And the first action item, as you can see, is search the database. 
here you go. It, so it's as easy as putting in a person's name, or we also realize that it's a transient population. People move from place to place. So if you move to a new town or city, you can put in, um, uh, you can do a, a geographical search as well. And so from this, <clears throat> this is where you're able to put this in. So and our tagline was before you invest, investor.gov, because we wanted people to become more familiar with our website. We did this on television, radio, as well as digital and print ads, and also social media. And I'm happy to say that we're going to be able to continue the campaign in tw uh, 2017. And so our overall preview, so the traffic for investor.gov has gone up, but more importantly, the unique page views have gone up. And this is um, where people are going to investor.gov investor to do this research. But this is the part that I really want you to see. So it's a percentage. It's 4,900%. So essentially 49 times the amount of people who used to do background checks from investor.gov have gone up. So it's almost 49 times, if you will. I love the percentages, but for those who aren't so great in math, just imagine it was a little over 4,000 people used to do background checks from investor.gov. Now it's over 200,000. So if we keep this momentum going up, um, this will be the tipping point for us. We have about 90 million investors in, <clears throat> excuse me, in the United States. Um, about half of them use a financial professional. So if we keep this number going, then we'll hopefully be able to deter fraud. I mean, for those of you who stayed in a hotel last night, how many of you did a background check on the hotel? Or the restaurant where you ate? You know, people do this, and they're uh, very accustomed to doing that. And, you know, you're talking a couple hundred dollars versus your lifetime worth of savings. And that's what we're trying to get is just the mainstream thing where people do this background check. So, anyhow, um, we're seven months into it. Again, we're going to be doing this again in 2017. And I, I hope to keep this as the main thread at the Securities and Exchange Commission. And, like I said, it's more mobile-friendly. Um, because we know that people are using mobile devices. So that's what I wanted to share with you today. Um, from our perspective, this has been a very positive campaign. We'll continue to do this. I hope it will help with investment fraud. Uh, I can't be so um, <clears throat> sure to say we're going to eradicate Ponzi schemes, but this is a good step in the right direction. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat>